Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm back with another awesome hair growth oil that you can add to your regimen for your hair to grow a lot faster. Now, this oil will certainly help you prevent baldness, it will treat bald spots, it will thicken your hair and essentially uh, prevent thinning over time so it is definitely worth watching especially if you do have thinner hair or perhaps you know bald spots or perhaps you lost your edges or anything similar you definitely want to watch this video because this oil will help you a lot when it comes to thickening your hair and also growing your hair faster so I'll suggest that you watch now let's hop right into the video guys we are going to need some mustard leaves now I got this from my uh, regular just Indian store you know there's this Afro Caribbean stores or sort of Indian stores that sell like African stuff as well you can find this there I don't think you can find it in your regular um grocery shop because i don't think they have this but you can try um so essentially if you don't know what they look like guys this is what they look like um or if you're not sure when you go just ask for mustard leaves so mustard leaves are really really good when it comes to high growth it helps to reduce scalp inflammation and essentially it can also help to protect and improve your hair with um, health for stronger and thicker hair so definitely worth adding to your regimen in some type of way if you suffer with you know bald spots or perhaps thinning hair in general so I'm just cutting the leaves here I'm not going to use the stems but you can use the stems if you want to as well so make sure that you wash it thoroughly just to remove you know all of the um, impurities from this or dirt essentially and then just cut the leaves and put it in this in a little bowl essentially now our next ingredient will be one red onion now it's fine to use the white onion as well um, if you want to but I prefer the red onion. So essentially, onions are really, really good as well. They provide extra sulfur to support strong and thick hair. And it does help in preventing hair loss and promoting hair growth. The sulfur from the onions may also help to promote collagen production, um, which in turn does help with sort of healthy um, skin cells and hair growth. So onion is really, really beneficial when it comes to growing bald spots or thickening the hair or adding volume in general um, you can also make onion juice guys and use it on your hair um, if you do suffer from one of those things that I've just mentioned so go ahead and cut your onion up and then pop it in the same bowl in which we have the mustard leaves now we're going to go in finally with some fresh aloe vera leaves so again you can find this in most Indian stores um, if you don't have one in your area, please do check Amazon. I'm pretty sure you can find some that you can even grow in your house. So I'm using just this quantity of aloe vera, but you can use more if you want to. Now for today's video, I will be using only the flesh of the aloe vera, but it's absolutely fine to use um, the aloe vera with the skin as well. And in fact, I would actually suggest that you leave the skin on um just because of the fact that is also full of nutrients now the reason why i was removing um the flesh here only was because initially i wanted to make this into like a little spray but then i changed my mind halfway through the video so yeah use the skin guys uh, because it also has some amazing um uh, benefits essentially you guys already know the benefits of aloe vera so i'm not really going to bore you with that but aloe vera is such a great thing when it comes to hair growth because of its amazing nutrients so essentially after you cut that all up you just want to pop it in a blender and go ahead and blend it now i will not be be adding any water to this because the aloe vera has already a lot of water and also the onion um, that we put in this so you don't need any sort of excess water so after you blended it and it's nice and smooth just pop it in a little pot or a frying pan or anything that you're using to make your oil so after that guys we are going to go ahead and add some type of oil now i'm using grapes uh, rapeseed oil let me not get that wrong this time rapeseed oil guys not grapeseed oil i'm using rapeseed oil i got this from aldi if you're in the uk 
but you can find it in most other stores or grocery stores will have this um yeah so essentially just add as much oil as you want to i'm not measuring here i'm just eyeballing um but yeah feel free to add more if you want to so essentially you just want to pop this on the stove and just allow it to fry for a little bit now you know this is done when this sort of nice greenish color that you see here has literally turned to a slightly kind of you know darker green color uh, and that's how you know that the whole thing is done Now, after this is done, guys, I'm just going to pop it in this little bowl and allow it to cool down. The reason why I'm transferring it here uh, straight away is just because it will cool down a bit quicker. If you imagine the pot is still a bit hot, so um, it will probably take a bit longer to cool down than if you transferred it. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so after that, we're going to go ahead and strain. Um, so for this, you can use a coffee filter if you want to or a wig cap or stocking cap like anything that you have available guys but i always use the paper towels for my kitchen because they just work and it's disposable so i can literally just throw away um after using it so yeah essentially just pop the whole thing on there and you just want to go ahead and squeeze gently just to get all of the oil out um essentially Now once that's all done, we've got our oil, I will be going in here with some essential oils. Now essential oils also help in stimulating high growth um, by increasing the blood flow to the area in which is applied. So it's really good to add to your growth oil, especially if you do have bald spots or thin hair or you're trying to regrow your hair in general so I'm using just the same essential oils that I've used for such a long time if you're an OG you will know this already so they are peppermint um, essential oil and tea tree essential oil now apart from the fact that tea tree essential oil do help with high growth it also has antibacterial properties which essentially just helps to get rid of you know all the bacteria that you may have on your scalp which can in turn cause issues with downdraft and all of that so you don't really want that on your scalp especially if you are trying to grow your hair so after you've done that guys just stir and that's your oil nice and ready um so yeah i just love it i love the color um yeah it just it just looks good and it's extremely potent when it comes to stimulating high growth so stick with me guys i'm going to share with you how to use it or how i would use it um, to maximize results so essentially there are two ways in which you can use this the first way is the way that i prefer the most just because of the smell of this so essentially i will be using it as a, a, a whole oil treatment so you can apply to your scalp and massage in just like you will later on see me doing in the video. Um, so apply generously everywhere on your scalp. Make sure you spend a bit of time to massage. You can use a scalp massaging brush. I suggest that you invest into one, especially if you have bald spots because that will help massage your scalp a lot better. But your fingers can do an amazing job as well. So massage that nicely, let it sit in your hair for about one hour and then you can go ahead and shampoo your hair guys just to get rid of the smell because it does smell like food pretty much. Um, so that's what you want to do. Now the second way, unless you don't mind the smell guys, you can use it as um, a, an oil that you leave in. So you can just massage on your scalp and just leave it in until your next wash day. 
um, that's if you don't really mind the smell and this would do wonders for you um, or you can use it as a sealant as well so essentially just as you moisturize your hair go ahead and you know and use that to seal the moisture in your hair but because we are um, focusing specifically on uh, bald spots or thin hair or basically just growing your hair in general I would suggest that whatever that you do make sure that you apply to your scalp because essentially that's where your hair grows out from and if you are trying to do anything you need to stimulate the follicles in that area and that's what's going to give you new hair growth so make sure that you apply to your scalp even if you are going to go ahead and wash it out afterwards now this brings me to the end of the video thank you thank you so much if you watch till the end guys i really really appreciate it also don't forget to leave a like on the video especially if you enjoyed watching and share it with somebody that you know i believe that there might be somebody out there that actually needs this video so please go ahead and share subscribe to the channel if you're not already and then i'll catch you in my next one bye